Even though the church at Corinth had a lot of problems, Paul encouraged the members to make the commitment, I will not be a church dropout. <laughs> That's what he's encouraging them to do. Now let me clarify something very quickly because I know where some people's minds go. If you don't clarify something, then they think you're saying something else. If the church that you belong to, and we have an audience that listens by radio and uh, watches by television, maybe even live streaming, they're watching this service right now. If you belong to a church that adheres to false doctrine or denies the fundamental tenets of the Christian faith, then by all means, leave your church. Leave your church. If your church doesn't believe that the Bible is God's word, and if your church doesn't preach and teach this book from cover to cover, then leave your church and don't go back. If you are a member of, of a church that says, well, this part of the Bible is true, but, but this story over here and these verses over here in this section of the Bible aren't true, run out the door and never go back. We've actually got some members here at Canton Baptist Temple that have left liberal denominational churches that have said just that. And they're so glad to be a part of a church that stands upon the inspiration and the infallibility and the inerrancy of the scriptures. How many of you have been, uh, come to our church in the last 10 years? Raise your hand. All right, lots of hands going up. Several hundred hands going up. I want those of you who came in the last 10 years to understand something. If it wasn't for the commitment of those going back 50 and 60 years who said, I will not be a church dropout, we may not have a church here today. There were some people that saw the flaws, saw the imperfections, and said, you know what? I choose to love Canton Baptist Temple anyway. Amen. They may not always do it the way I want it done. This over here may not always go the way that I would have wanted it to go. But I love this church. And I'm going to pray for this church. I'm going to be loyal to this church. I'm going to support this church. And I'm going to stick with it through thick and thin. Amen. And they just stuck by the stuff. I like what I read the other day, and I'm going to close with this statement. And I'm going to put it up on the screen, because I really liked it. If the grass looks greener on the other side, stop staring, stop uh, comparing, stop complaining, and start watering the grass you are standing on. <laughs> I love that. I said, boy, we need that here. You look at our church, and you say, I see this problem, I see that, I don't like this, I don't like that. If the grass looks greener on the other side, stop staring, stop comparing, stop complaining, and start watering the grass that we're standing on. Let's invest in this ministry. Let, let's be a church that is committed, all out commitment, sold out for Christ, loyal to the ministry where God has placed us, the Canton Baptist Temple. We are a blessed people, folks.